When I was 15, I spent a whole summer in Harvard. I was a high school student who had never lived alone before, and over one full summer, I was about to embark on the biggest journey of my life. For two full months, I was immersed into the Harvard student life. I lived on campus, and I went to school every single day, and I even got to eat at this cafeteria three times a day. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Mikey and I'm a university student here in Canada. So the way I actually found out about this Harvard summer program was actually through one of my friends. She actually did the whole program all eight weeks the year prior to me going and she's the one that told me all about it. And that's when I thought to myself, why don't I apply? Why don't I do this to expand my resume? You know, I may as well. Every summer for school, I used to either sell shoes, sell Raptors tickets to make money, or I used to work. So I was like, yo, I may as well just use eight weeks of my summer to go to this Harvard program. You know, what do I have to lose? So then I ended up actually applying and then I ended up getting in and I was like, what the heck? How did they even select me? This is so weird. Why would why would they choose me to go? And keep in mind, I've never lived anywhere before by myself alone. Like keep in mind, I was 15 years old at the time. So like anything aside from like living at home was just so foreign to me. So I told my parents about it and they needed a bit of convincing in order to let me to go. And then at the end of the day, they did end up letting me go, even though like my, my mom was pretty scared because I was like really young and she didn't want me to like die when I went there. She didn't want anything bad to happen to me. So when I actually went to Harvard, they both flew out with me, which was very kind of them. And my dad actually ended up making a secondary credit card under my name while I was there and then once I actually got to the place where I was gonna stay I stayed in one of the dorms now how the housing situation works there is there's essentially I think four options either you can get a suite of five a suite of four a suite of three or a th suite of two now I didn't really know anybody going to the program so I kind of just signed up for like whatever you know they wanted to put me in and it turns out I was actually in the five person suite and when I got there I was actually the last person to get there out of the five people which sucked because I didn't end up choosing my own room or my own bed in my suite we had four rooms for five people so each room was single except one of them that was two people and I ended up sleeping in that room with two people and I to be honest I, w I didn't want that I kind of wanted to get my own room um, I went and my roommate was actually from Brazil and right when I got there I was kind of upset I was like dang it man like this is gonna suck you know I wanted to be by myself but then over time I started to form like a sick relationship with my roommate and we actually becoming sick friends and we still even talk to today now in retrospect honestly like I think it was such an amazing experience that I did have another roommate with me like taken we were in the same room two beds in the same room with two desks there was no doors between us or anything so like when he went to sleep I could really watch him go to sleep so that sucks sometimes when he, when he went to sleep early or I went to sleep early because we had an exam or something so both of us kind of had to go to sleep but I honestly think that was probably one of the main reasons why I enjoyed my time so much at Harvard now the courses that I actually took there were well there's two courses first of them is the physics of contemporary astronomy course it's basically a course centered on um, astrophysics uh, planets exoplanets um, stars the end of stars life like supernova things like that and I was kind of just interested in astronomy so I was like yo I may as well take a course on astronomy now while I can because when I go university I won't be able to and the second course that I took was actually originally cell biology but then I went to the first class and I was like wow this stuff literally sucks I hate this like especially because I didn't take biology 12 yet so I was like okay hey, you know I'm not really interested in this so then for literally a full date I, it might have been two days actually I went to like maybe like 10 lectures different classes figuring out trying to figure out which classes I wanted to take I went to stem cell biology molecular biology um, I went to uh, what else did I go to I went to a course called metabolism which is like glycolysis um, Krebs cycle things like that and I, I didn't really like that either. I was like yo there's no point in me taking this now I'm not really interested in it and then I went to an organic chemistry class and I was like yo why not like I only have two courses that I'm doing so I may as well do one hard course like because I, I always heard the stigma that organic chemistry was really really hard Hard and people always did so bad in it so I was like why not take a course that's really hard now so that when I take a university it will be easier or in general why, why don't I just take it like I have nothing to lose I'm taking two courses I don't have a full course load so I'll definitely have a lot of time to work on it and keep in mind I didn't even take chemistry 12 yet so I didn't learn anything about organic chemistry prior to me taking the course so then I went to the professor of the course like after I attended the lecture and I was telling him how I didn't have the prerequisites for it but I really liked chemistry I really enjoyed it and then he ended up actually allowing me to go into the course you know I kind of told him that like I really knew my stuff for chemistry but low-key I didn't really know my stuff that much I was just trying to get into the course I ended up getting into the course and then those were the two courses that I ended up taking organic chemistry and astrophysics now astrophysics that course was so sick except the thing that sucked about it was that it was so hard at the same time so first of all we weren't allowed calculators at all the types of calculations that we were doing was like literally fried it was like 10 times like five times six to the power of 12 times eight times four to the power of two divided by 0 0.3 
like multiplied by 6.034 times 10 to the 22, like crazy numbers that, you know, prior to university, I always had a calculator. So when I went and they told me I had no calculator, I was like, dang, this stuff is gonna be literally fried. Like I'm gonna fail. So our course structure was we had homework. We had six different homeworks that we did on a weekly basis. It was eight weeks. We didn't have homework for the last week or for the first week. And then we also had three midterms, like uh, I think it was on week three, week five, and then week seven. And then we also had a final project that was worth 20% of our grade. And that was where we had to explore a specific exoplanet so exoplanets are essentially other planets that could be habitable by human life type of thing so what our professor wanted us to do was find an exoplanet and then explain basically everything we know about it and how it has potential habitation for human life and then we made a video on it things like that you know it just you get as creative as possible now the midterms were literally like 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 there's no way it was like like it was it was so hard it was literally so hard it was, like I, I need to show you guys I'm gonna show I'll show you guys my first midterm all right, so this is actually my first quiz. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but this is my first quiz, okay? So taking the whole quiz or the whole midterm was literally eight questions. So it was three different sections. One of the first section had two questions. Second section was one question, A, B, and C. And the last section was one question, A, B, and C as well. And taking, we had an hour and a half to do this quiz. That's how hard it was. That there was only eight questions for one hour and a half. And what's fried is that some questions would be like you needed to like write like one sentence other question was like you need to like explain a whole yeah uh, uh, um, you need explain a whole equation and answer a specific question and relate it to each other like it was just literally fried like taking okay th this question was worth 10 marks 10 marks look this is all i put to get 10 marks this is literally all i put and i got 10 marks like that's exactly what i'm trying to say like it was just a different way of grading and it was super super stressful like on this quiz i did really really bad actually i got a 60 percent 36 out of uh, 60 I'll, I'll probably include a clip of me showing it but here it is 36 out of 60. i remember when i got my mark for this midterm i was so stressed out i was like dang i can't believe i came all this way paid all this money in order to come here and literally like 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 do so bad on my courses especially because i'm studying so much in order to do like what i like i really wanted to do well on them so i studied a lot and then i got a 60 and i was like what the heck is going on so i went back home and i i literally couldn't study for like the whole day i remember our quiz was our midterm was also at night so our class was from 6 30 9 30 and we did it in the second half of class that's why we had an hour and a half so i went back to my apartment i was like dang like why am i doing so bad like what is going on like i literally studied like i think i used to study like one hour and a half, two hours, maybe even three hours for this course every single day, seven days a week. We're talking about like 21 hours of studying for this course on top of the homework that I was doing. So like I knew my stuff, but the thing with the homework, it was all calculations. So then I was doing well in the homeworks. And when it came to the midterm, there was some theory based questions, questions where you had to explain a specific concept. And that's where I was losing the majority of my marks. So I was like, hey, how can I fix this? And that's when I started using flashcards. I started splitting up my studying into two different intervals. One hour every single day of literally practice and another hour every single day of active recall and testing myself with flashcards. Now, if you don't know what active recall is, that's essentially when you test yourself on specific information in order to put it into your long-term memory. So in terms of physics, I used to be like, okay, what's Newton's third law? So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So I did this for one hour every single day and then my marks started increasing. And that's when I started seeing slow improvements in my grades. And actually on my second midterm, I got a seven 79 out of 90 and I was like yes let's go let's freaking go and I was so amped because I was like wow like my mark went up so much 79 out of 90 I think it's like an 88 or an 89 percent versus the 60 percent that I got before like yo I'll take that like that like that was really good in my eyes and then my third quiz to be honest I don't have it on me I think I like to be honest I have no idea where it went and then I actually ended the course with an a minus and I was like yo I'll take that like that's sick like an a minus versus a 60 percent that I got in my first midterm like yo that's such a big jump and I'm so down for that and then literally from like that instant, I think that was between grade 11 and grade 12 when I went to Harvard. Grade 12 is like when I literally changed up everything. I had so much more free time. That's when I started working out a lot and things, one thing led to another. Of course I won an A, but considering that, first of all, I had bad study habits and I took only one physics course before going to Harvard and the A minus in my eyes was just jacked. So that basically concludes the video. If you guys did enjoy it, subscribe and like down below because it does help you out a lot. Now my next video is also gonna be about Harvard, so stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and take it easy.